So the um, learning channel, the bastion of educational resource for all of us around the world to become better acquainted with the things that are most important in life and make us more fully human and empathetic and understanding of life. the learning channel. You've watched shows on the learning channel? Uh, that's what I call porn. No, the learning different, channel. very different. But however, <laughs> the learning channel is getting close to that now. Have you heard about this new show they're coming up with on no. on, on the learning channel? Never even heard of learning channel. <laughs> You've never heard of the learning channel? No. That explains a lot. Uh, <laughs> is that and, what you learn? Yeah, you learn there, and you're going to learn a lot with the new show Milf Manor. That's right, Milf Manor, and the twist, the twist. Thank you. You got young guys, cougars. About 20 years, 25 years, they're senior on a dating show. That would be a milf. Yeah. Like, you know, kind of like a Love Island kind of a thing. Sure. And it turns out for all of the guys, all of the women, is each one of their moms. Look at the trailer. Enjoy, everybody. Yikes. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm a MILF. What are you doing? <sighs> Disagree. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to our Patreon followers for subscribing the like button. Well, that's actually true for you. Shut up. When and you first met me, I was your DILF. Shut up. And today, we got a video. This is from Variety. <laughs> RRR director breaks down Oscar-nominated Natu Natu scene. For a split second, I thought you were going to say he breaks down, and I was going to be really sad. It says Raja Muli, the... Uh, a great S.S. Russian movie. And this is great because uh, Variety does these all the time with directors that break down certain scenes. And yeah. I bet this is the first Indian director they've brought in. I'm, I'm um, sure it is. And This uh, is pr probably also um, one of the most... I, I, granted, we're biased. But this is one of the most anticipated song categories at the Oscars I have in recent memory. Yeah. In terms of... And Oscar RRR is... Definitely the favorite. It's it's. I saw this morning Hollywood report. No, it was Variety. Variety had somebody who talked to four. <coughs> God bless you. <coughs> double portion on you. Uh, talked to four voting members who remained anonymous. And on the ballot for song, what do you think they had? Not too not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be a shock if it doesn't win. Yeah, it'd be a big shock. It would be. I'll be a raving lunatic. And guess who's here now? Uh, junior interior. I wonder why. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I've seen this song many, 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 many times. I sometimes watch it on YouTube. <laughs> Same. I, I've, I've shown uh, it to so many people. Platforms and watch the song again. I was worried that I wouldn't give you the notes, and I myself will keep watching this song again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this Hello. is SS Raj Mowli. I'm the director of Telugu language Indian film RRR. That's right. And I'm so happy. I like how they put me, Telugu me language. Me too. Notes on the scene, notes on the song, not to not. The first thing that comes to me when uh, when we talk about uh, not to not to is the location itself. It was shot in Kiev, actually the presidential palace. Yep. This was actually supposed to happen in India, but because it was monsoon time then. So <laughs> We were trying to look, scout the locations and we found this and I really loved it. And then they told me it's the presidential palace. I thought, oh, maybe then I have to look for another location. But they said, no, 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 this is Ukraine. You can get uh, uh, the job done. And so thankful for the Ukrainian team. The colors of it the was palace, pretty the size of the palace, the size of the... Right before the, the, the war, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Was the exact uh, uh, right size. <laughs> You know what's so impressive about that? They go into slow mo, and the live action behind them stays real time. The, the beautiful thing about the song uh, that many tend not to notice are the background uh, dancers. If you look here, the bunch here, all of them are not extras. All of them are dancers. And if you can see how the men are not comfortable with this, two Indian guys taking uh, their scene over, but the girls are really, really enjoying the steps. You can see all of them are perfectly enacting the scene before their turn comes when they have to dance. I was really, really surprised that the level of professionalism the dancers there uh, in Ukraine had uh, really loved working with them. It's a choreographer. Uh, 
Prem Rakshit. He has worked with me before. He has worked with Karan before. He has worked with Tarak before. He gave one of the most memorable numbers for both of them. He knows their style, exactly what their body language is. He exactly knows. And suspe what suspenders have never been them. used more he wonderfully. He has a very difficult job because here both the actors have to dance together. Each of them have their own style, but he has to find out a style which will suit both of them as a dancing style which would be not complicated because I also wanted him to uh, figure out steps which people would like to uh, Smart. do for themselves. So it should be nice. It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, it should suit the style of both the actors and it should be fantastic. Quite a number of instructions. <laughs> yeah, that's and, all. Uh, Make it fantastic. Yeah, that's all. With, uh, you wouldn't believe it. More than 100 variations for this 3-4 signature. Damn. Uh, to not, to not, to not, to for that line. I remember he sent me the video. It was going on and on and on and on. And I had a difficult time picking up the best 3-4 variations for this style. Uh, so the first credit. I've had enough of this nonsense! <laughs> you two, out! No, Jake, I've had enough of your bullying. Oh, oh, hey, oh. Go. Yes! Go! <laughs> I fills me with pure this joy. This for me is the, uh, a, is the best uh, oh, yeah. in the entire song. Absolutely. The costume designer, Rama, who also happens to be my wife, she really hey! gave the costume like a, like a song because it was supposed to be a scene. She gave the costume like a scene and when Prem saw the dress and he saw the suspenders, he said, can I can I uh, use the uh, suspenders? She said, okay. He composed a couple of steps and he said, uh, if the suspenders are too tight, they can't be doing it so easily. It has to be a little bit loose for the dance step. Uh, so it was Frame's idea to bring the, uh, the suspenders in. And the funny thing Genius. is like, they had the loose suspenders only for this particular Oh, shot. of course. Before and after it were tight suspenders. And just in the before shot, when Ginny, she pulls the suspenders and gives it and says, go, the suspenders were actually the tight suspenders. And, Ow. <laughs> and they had a wince on their face, but they were smiling <laughs> until I said cut. And the moment I said cut, they were like walking away in pain. <laughs> Even for them, it was, this was the most difficult. Uh, uh, yeah, this is not easily replicatable. The, uh, things on the top, the suspenders moving and sliding. Right foot also has yep. to go to the side and come as There's a lot going on. So much. The genius of the uh, choreographer. When I instructed him, I told him, yes, for the audience, this is a song. This is fun. They're dancing and everything. But for the story, it is actually a fight scene because it starts off with a uh, on a on a bad note, and it's West Side Story is coming and dance insulting off. them, humiliating them. But both of them are there on a purpose. They yeah. are not really fist fight, do a fist fight, and blow their cover off. It moves into a kind of competition. You're seeing a song, you're seeing a dance, but effective in effect, you're getting the the emotion of a fight. Mm -hmm. So that's the instruction that I gave uh, Prem. That's what I needed. You see their body language, how they're standing, how they're... they're Confident, uh, open. Moment is. It looks like a fight. That's how brilliant Prem is. Sindhil, Always son. hire great cinematographer. I mean, um, choreographer. With him. Initially, he shows me what kind of... Tone yeah, the, the frames for this are important in this... Me two or three references. And yes. I don't meddle with the lighting or or the tonality of, of the film. My production designer, Sabu, he had a, a lot of idea on how colonial India was, and what the properties were, what the costume colors were. He had a lot of ideas, so he was really uh, rushing through Kiev to find the right kinds of properties. And all these flower arrangements, Sabu was sitting there with the art director there, and he was particularly telling this color this color should come at the bottom. This color should come at the top. And he was uh, really... Film is uh, such a collaborative effort, art form. Uh, uh, That's why we point out art direction, production there. design all the yeah, time. So I don't look at, uh, at that at all. Uh, <laughs> my job is to see whether my actors are doing the step the correct way that I want to. Their expression is perfect or not. That's the only job uh, I look at it. We were shooting in the presidential palace, like I said, and here is the parliament. 
Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> Ukraine. I was so shocked. Uh, I, I asked my line producer uh, there, is it okay to shoot a song in a full volume right by the side <laughs> of, the, <laughs> of the presidential palace? She said, yeah, fine. No problem. Go ahead. Love <laughs> Ukraine. <laughs> Only thing is, it will be in, in actual metallic in color. In post, he made it like a line plastered. One more point is, all the uh, background musicians who are holding the clarinets, the violins, and all that stuff, they are also action musicians. I wanted them to be musicians because they hold the violin properly. They oh, imagine that. Properly and all that. I asked Anna, is that okay? Can I place the uh, musicians well done. there? Is it okay for for them to just stand there and act, not actually play. This is the step which was like on, on TikTok or all the social media platforms where everyone was trying to do, whether it's friends, Brothers, mother and daughter, uh, husband and wife, everyone were uh, absolutely uh, doing the step and posting on the uh, social media, which really, really went viral and helped the film gain the popularity, popularity a lot. <laughs> I like that effect. I mean, it's it's not new. It has been used um, many times where the track goes forward and mm -hmm. so the artists are always occupying the full frame, but the background really comes forward. Initially, we tried uh, moving it around, uh, but it was we are losing uh, the essence of the step. So we use the uh, this smart just track forward and, and zoom back. <laughs> Yeah. This is where the nightmare started for the <laughs> From uh, a solid ground, we moved on to a place where it, it was dusty. I wanted the dust to fly, but Ooh. the costumes were made with such a delicate material. Then we were making them do this, the Natu Natu step in the dust with this dress and the dress were getting really, really dirty and spoiled. The costumers had to make Oh Two my. Dresses, three dresses. And every day they had, after the shoot, they had to go and clean them very delicately. It's not that you can put them in a washing machine and take them out. <laughs> they had to be hand cleaned properly. So after a long God bless costumers, hours, yes. Eight hours a day, the costumers were taking the dresses. One of the, one of the cleaning them hardest working people on set. Doing it again. Longest hours. <laughs> like to go uh, lengthy takes. I, I don't like to cut in between. Uh, here I had a long discussion with my editor on having this this group coming into a formation. The, the idea is like all the guys are with Jake and all the girls are with Ram mm. and Beam. And I wanted this mixed crowd to separate into the girls coming behind Ram and Beam and the boys coming behind Jake. It was clearly established in the in the in the top angle uh, shot, for me it would have been nice if this entire thing was in one single shot, so you can see all the girls coming. That would have been epic. Mixed position, and you see from the mixed position all the boys going here, and at the same time we see Jake is moving this way, and Ram and Beam are moving towards this way. It was very well uh, choreographed. But yes, it was. Said the punch would be nice if we uh, cut it into three or four cuts. Well, sometimes even the director you have to give in to your... <laughs> <laughs> DP, director relationships. And it, the collaboration proved right. Yes, it did. That's a good director who trusts. And I must have seen this song many, 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 many billion times. Billion times, bet. Not just on Thousands. The table. Even after the release, I sometimes watch it on YouTube. Or it must be so I satisfying. Know, uh, uh, Especially since the world loves your song. Yeah. Again, I watched the the background dancers. I became a fan of these guys. You can you can see they were they are really acting like pros. They are not just dancing, but they had to do the steps wrong sometimes and they have to express that they are not doing it properly and collapse one by one. I like each and every dancer here. This guy, this guy, how they were performing it should 
also see the girls, how Jenny goes back and he pulls her again. That yeah, every one of them is involved. Falls down. They're tired, but still uh, really, really enjoying it. This girl, I yep. think it's a very beautiful frame by Sindhil. He got that dark dressed girl in the foreground as the action is happening in the background. One of the inspirations for me for these kind of frames is, you know, is a completely different uh, thing. In Ten Commandments, when the sea is parting, there is a shot of three ladies watching what is happening in front of them and the arrangement is like like a like a painting this is not exactly like that but a, a kind of inspiration is, yeah, is from that's there. awesome <laughs> at the guy's expression when Jake falls down. <laughs> These guys absolutely <laughs> perfect. Tarak and Sharon are really exceptionally yes, they are. good dancers. I always feel dance is not about how acrobatic you are, how perfectly you can do your step. There are two important things. One is that you should really, really enjoy your dance. Only then can audience really get the enjoyment out of your your dance and second thing is like in every moment of of the dance you are conveying something to the audience some kind of emotion they really infused that uh, that energy they're conveying that even though we are humiliated by you we have this weapon of giving it back to you quite a subtle and difficult emotion to portray but these two guys nailed it So the Indians have won. Actually, the story is over, but we know that N.T. Rama Rao and Ram Sharan are two top heroes, commercial heroes, and the fans would love to see them compete against each other. Heck yeah. In the dance, looking at each other like, okay, okay brother. Then, what about you and me? Ah, I love it so much. <sighs> that wow expression of Jenny is the best. There are countless uh, messages, memes, everything saying that the entire audience expression towards the song is exactly the that. song and when this climaxes. Song made, the dust so, really oh yeah. Everyone in the unit were coming into the tent and like peeking in, looking in, can we say that again? Can we play this again? This was the shot that everyone really, really loved. So subtle, just a little look over. She's rooting for Beam Akhtar at that point of time, and he sees that Jenny is in love with Akhtar and he loses. On purpose, because it's the greatest buddy film of all time. <laughs> his innocent self, he doesn't get right. it. Right, he, he thinks he won. Dances right. He finishes it. For me, Natu Natu, uh, one of the reasons why I think it is such a hit is not just because of the music, not just because of the dance, because there is a beautiful story in itself. The entire story of RRR is within that 10 minutes of Natu Natu lead scene and uh, the complete song. No one in America or across the world uh, really knows the meaning of the lyrics, uh, but it is the catchiness of the, the lyric, the way the, the flows. Uh, I think that is the credit should be given to uh, Chandra Bose, uh, the lyricist. We had a blast shooting it. We had a blast enjoying the audiences having having the blast. Thank you everyone for uh, who, has, who were involved in Not To Not. It's wonderful. Great piece, Variety. I mean, uh, Vanity. Who did that, right? That was Vanity? No, no Variety. That was Variety, sorry. It was Variety Fair. No, it's Vanity Fair. I was right. Yeah, Vanity Fair. Dyslexia. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I just saw the V and I was yeah. like, that's Variety. <laughs> no. Yeah, Vanity Fair. Great piece by Vanity Fair. Um, Wonderful. I've seen many of these uh, in terms of like when they do directors and they break down oh, like, yeah, different yeah, icons. Yeah, just beautiful. And, but it's wonderful to see. It's the biggest Indian film in America ever. Mm -hmm. There's no film. Deservedly so. That has ever um, been taken by America or the West in general as much as RR. No. Um, it's 
absolutely massive. It and, is a phenomenon. And, and the love is genuine. Yep. Um, and I know a lot of Indians just don't understand why. But I just, I don't even understand why you'd be upset by that. Because they're like, oh, we have so many films like that. One, I, I doubt that because I, we've you seen don't. a lot of films. Um, and ours is very unique. Yeah, it has some stuff that are in other films. But it's the entire film that is what is so amazing and so enjoyable. Um, but the fact that a lot of people in America have never seen an Indian film before. No. And so why wouldn't you be excited by the fact that this is a lot of exactly. people's opening? Exactly. <laughs> like, I don't, There's I don't nothing, understand. there should be nothing but celebration for it. And like we said when we saw the song, it, we said this at the time, and I will, I will always believe this, Natu Natu is one of the greatest musical numbers in cinematic history. Put that up against every musical number that has been legendary from the climax of An American in Paris to the Singing in the Rain number to Moses Supposes to Aronia. Make Him Laugh yeah. to uh, anything that Fred did with uh, Ginger stand. Rogers. It's, it is... It's that memorable, and it's that well put together at every single level. Yeah. So if it doesn't win the Oscar, it will be criminal. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. criminal. I can't <laughs> wait for them to perform it as well. It's going to be absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, I predict they're going to they're going to burn the house down. I I predict nothing else that night is going to come close to the type of explosive energy, and is going to cause that place to turn into a total riot than the performance of that song. I agree. <laughs> Anyways, let us know uh, if you're excited. Uh, we are very excited to watch this win the Oscar on Sunday. So let us know down below. Just